I'm here with Abhi. Abhi, how has your experience been? Good day? Yeah, it's been, it's good. My, my uh, voice is dying a bit from talking to everyone, but it's, it's great to be here with you, Kanal. Uh, we've uh, talked a bit in the past, but excited to talk, talk here. Yeah, super looking forward to it. So mm -hmm. you have a booth and uh, you have like a lot of folks coming in, asking yeah. questions and engaging in discussions. Can you tell us a little bit more about what are some of the discussions you had with people sure. and all the talks you attended and everything? What are some of the challenges people face? Like what is the topic of discussion for plural? Um, one of the big topics of, uh, topics of discussion for plural is, I guess, where we fit. There's a lot of people trying to compete for kind of a similar thing, to be completely honest. Like, uh, we're helping people deploy uh, applications on Kubernetes. And unsurprisingly, there's a lot of people doing that. But we notably are open source, and we are trying to kind of, we're trying to help people configure open source without needing to use managed services. And I think one of the big themes that I see a lot is that people have been coming here saying uh, we are stuck between this dichotomy of managed services or figuring out everything on my own in open source, right? And so there's a lot of people coming up where they're where they're saying, "Hey, yeah, we I, I've been trying to write all of this uh, all of this YAML myself, and uh, maybe I need a bit of help." So uh, the, some of the other uh, discussions that we've been having is like. Is, is asking about like, what does plural actually do? Like, where does, what is like, what are we trying to market to? Like what, yeah. what features are we trying to focus on? It's, it's been a nice time to explore, I guess, what we value as, as, as a project and yeah. what, what we want to focus on. So it's been nice to refocus that. Yeah, if you talk about like the customers or the, the yeah. people who came to your booth, yeah. what are the challenges they're facing? Um, I guess the, one of the big, so as I mentioned before, like trying to, write everything yourself in open source is fairly difficult, right? Yeah. And so uh, kind of like the, the other big challenges that, that people are facing is mostly around, um, I, I, and I guess this is, this is a place where I guess we don't necessarily work, work, work as well with, but mostly around kind of just unifying their experience across mm. all, all like clouds or having just one unified experience for DevOps and infrastructure. Because uh, something that, that, that we're running to, into is that when we tell people, hey, you're going to have to have this new Kubernetes cluster with all these applications, it's kind of difficult for them, for other people to now take this other Kubernetes cluster that they have over here. Maybe it's not even on the same cloud provider. And it's like, now we have to say, how can we marry these two? It's like, sure, you could use VPC peering and kind of connect the two. That's always, not always a great solution, right? So I think having, I think you'll hear, I think people say a lot, uh, this uh, this convention, everyone's saying single pane of glass. I think that's like a really common phrase that people yeah. are talking about. And I think that's something I think that everyone is struggling with. Like mm -hmm. How do we, how do you unify your experience? And uh, I, I think we definitely are, are feeling Yeah, so that. unifying your experience for like deploying applications and things like that. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit more about how Plural is addressing these challenges? Um, so in terms of unifying your experience, we are basically a one-stop shop for coming and deploying applications on Kubernetes that are open source, right? So you come to us, we're open source, you download our CLI, you get a, you get a GitHub repository up and running with Plural in it, and we uh, basically write all of the Helm and Terraform and YAML you need to not only spin up a Kubernetes cluster, but also every single open source application you can want, right? And then so we write all that YAML for you with the Plural build, and then once you run Plural deploy, you're up and running with not only your fresh new Kubernetes cluster that we've configured for you, but also all these applications that can live together. Mm. It's really difficult. So you may be able to get up and running with like one application. Like you get one application up and running and, and like you spend a lot of time, you go through the documentation, you figure it out. And, but now what about getting like three or four more? How, what about getting the networking right? What about like getting them to like work with each other, right? Yeah. So it's like, um, that's where the unification comes in, in the sense that if you have everything in one spot and you can just start adding a bunch of applications to, the, to, to your cluster, uh, that's powerful. Yeah. There, there's a lot of there's a lot of power in that. And if you talk about two, three years down the line, what are some of the trends that you think we are likely to see? We're gonna, we're definitely going to see a lot of people like moving away from. I guess for this exact reason, I'm pretty sure we're going to we're going to start seeing a lot of people like moving towards the center here, moving away from both like managed services, but also moving away from open source because monetizing open source is becoming a little more difficult for people. And I think a lot of people are trying to move in in, in like a straight in like strange and maybe unsavory directions with like monetizing open source and just kind of using their open source community as like a, just as a sales funnel. And it's like, and so there's, there's a lot of these like weird trends that I think are moving people towards the center area. 
that I think, I think, um, I, I guess I don't want to be so arrogant to say that we're ahead of the times, but, <laughs> but, but, I, but, but I, I do think that, that people are going to adopt open source, like if and only, it's not, it has to be not only cost effective, but also easy. But some people are making it pro prohibitively hard to use their open source technology so they can sell you support, so they can sell you, um, uh, sell you, sell you a managed service, right? Amazing. So, yeah. Thanks a lot for sharing. Uh, Abhi, really great talking to you. Find out more about Plural. Check out the links in the description below. 